What are the typical offerings on the cloud? Generally, at a high level, we can categorize service offerings on the cloud as IaaS, which is Infrastructure as a Service, PaaS, Platform as a Service, and SaaS, Software as a Service. What does these three actually mean? When we talk about infrastructure as a service, as the name suggests, we just need bare compute resources. We need some memory, we need some CPU, and we need storage and network to consume that. Typically, when you take an IaaS offering from any vendor, you get a virtualized host in the form of virtual CPU, virtual memory, and virtual storage, which virtual networking, and a particular operating system that is part of it. Depending on whether that operating system is licensable, that is also included in the cost. Then the consumer or the customer who is using the IAS service would have to bring their own software and install it and manage it. So in the case of IAS, the cloud provider manages the hardware, manages the virtualization and provides the OS. The customer manages everything above the operating system. So the customer would have to manage the OS, bring in the software, manage the software, and take care of everything thereafter. Number two, platform as a service. Platform as a service is as simple as having something more than the operating system built into the virtual resource. What could this platform be? It could be a platform of Hadoop. It could be a platform of NoSQL, it could be a platform of a standard RDBMS or an application server wherein the cloud provider takes care of the layer of software which is called as a platform already built into the service. The customer brings in whatever application they want to deploy on that and run. Obviously, this is going to be a little more costlier than infrastructure as a service. Thirdly, software as a service. In this, the cloud provider provides an entire software application as a service. It could be something like a CRM software, an ERP software, or any enterprise software that could be used by any person. The customer just needs to bring in their data and start using it. The entire stack, software, platform, and infrastructure which is part of this SAAS offering or software as a service offering is managed by the vendor. The customer just focuses on his business, focuses on putting his data into this, taking his data as and when he requires. The customer does not have to bother too much about managing the IT software infrastructure. That's a quick comparison of what is the difference between IAS, PaaS, and SaaS. To help you understand IAS, PaaS, and SaaS, I'm going to give you a simple example from what you do on an everyday basis. You are obviously living in a house. It could be owned or rented. If it is owned, then it is equivalent to on-premise setup. In an on-premise setup, the customer buys the infrastructure, buys the software and manages it. If you own your house, then you have paid for it or you're having a mortgage on it and you need to maintain your house. You need to furnish your house. You need to do everything about your house. On the other hand, you could rent a house. And if you plan to rent a house, it is equivalent to metering. It's equivalent to cloud. Again, you have a choice. You could take a bare house or a semi-furnished house or a fully furnished house. If you took a bare house, then you need to bring in all the furniture that you need in the house. Obviously, the rental for a bare house will be lesser. Secondly, you could take a semi-furnished house. Maybe all the furniture is not there, but some basic furniture is there. Maybe wardrobes are present. Maybe your kitchen is already set up, but you still need to probably bring in other furniture, like maybe you get in your washing machine, your television, your bedding, etc. Third, you have a fully furnished house. 
all the furniture is already in place maybe you just walk in with your suitcase with your clothing if you were to compare this with cloud computing IAS is similar to a bare house that you take PAS is similar to a semi furnished house you take and thirdly a fully furnished house is similar to software as a service the suitcase of clothing that you brought is similar to the data that you need to bring in this is how you can compare what is IAS, PaaS and SaaS so that you understand what's the difference between these. Thank you.